Hey guys, Joe here, 690ADV, 690ADV.com. Happy Friday. I'll tell you what, 2020 is shaping up to be just fantastic in the dual sport world. I'll tell you what, manufacturers are starting to step up their game, especially one in specific. I'll tell you what, you're not safe anymore in the dual sport world, like KTM, Husky, Honda, all those guys. I tell you what, this manufacturer right here is about to set the bar. And I tell you what, nobody is safe anymore. And you know why? We're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about it on the Rant and Ride. Hey, what's happening everybody? Hope everybody had a great week. I did, and it's going to get a whole lot better starting tomorrow. Yeah, if you haven't heard, I did basically say, yeah, the live giveaway, it's postponed. Only until next Saturday, alright? Only until next Saturday. I do apologize, but I was given an opportunity to get out and go get all up in it for a couple of days i'm gonna take it i don't get to get out a whole lot and do that so east texas adv giving him a quick shout out um yeah we're gonna go ride him and his buddies uh going to his ranch and we're gonna get out in it so anyway next saturday giveaway be there be part of it because it is gonna happen i apologize but i have got to get some dirt, and I am so sorry, but it's going to happen. Anyway, thanks for stopping in. Friday Rant Ride. Hey, you know what? If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that button, smash it up, and make sure you are part of the 690 ADB because we appreciate you. And don't forget to give us a like if you like what you hear. Anyway, don't forget um, Tuesdays. Fridays and Thursdays and Sundays. We don't miss ever. But anyway, um, thank you so much for being part of it. Wife's going to beat me for doing that in the yard. <laughs> but it's all good. Rant and ride. Hey, man, 2020 is shaping up, man. I'll tell you what. It is shaping up to be really cool for dual sporting. We've got some really neat bikes that are coming out, but one in specific. I think is just setting the bar, and they're, they're <laughs> they are, uh, yeah, they're <laughs> they're putting out four motorcycles that are going to be absolutely fantastic. So if you're in the market looking for a new bike and you want to get an enduro slash dual sport bike, I'll tell you what, you might want to look into the Betas, the Beta 2020 models the RRS. Now these are street legal bikes ready to go out of the gate. Mirrors, blinkers, whole nine yards and they look fantastic. On screen I don't want to dig into all of them but they have four models starting from the 350 to 390, 450 and the 500. Now that 500 is the one that I have my most interest on that is super cool. It just looks amazing. And, boy, I'll tell you what. And they changed up that RR series. They sure did. They basically made that bike 2.2 pounds lighter. The thing is, is the frames and the swing arms and everything are pretty much the same across all models, which is really kind of cool. So, they, you know, there's not much difference in how the bikes are set up other than the engines that they're dropping in there in the CC range. They're putting twin injectors in the bike. Like I said, this is not a review. I'm not riding it. You can't even get one. I'm going to tell you later in the video when they're coming out. But twin injectors in these bikes are going to give it, they're saying, a whole lot better MPG, which is nice because these bikes are high-performance motorcycles and they don't get horrible mileage, but they don't get fantastic either. My KTM here, my 690, it'll hover on the road. I'm getting around 50, 55. That, and that's actually 
I've got that. It's set up. It's 100%. And, uh, yeah, I've tracked it on a trip, about a 3,000-mile trip. And <laughs> but like I said, these things are high-performance bikes. So, anyway, that RR from Beta, the S-Series 2020 that is coming out, it just is setting up to be awesome. It's going to be lighter, and they made great additions. It's like they're truly listening to us riders on what we're wanting. They moved a lot of the interior stuff, like the motors and some of the things that they put under the actual seat area in the cavity where the engine goes for a better center of gravity. And the reason they did that, to make it more stable, and it's going to make the bike a lot better, basically, on that center of gravity so it's not going to feel top heavy. That's a big deal when you get off road. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be nice. They upgraded the shocks on it, which is really, really nice. Front shock, rear shock, and the reason they upgraded it is so that it has better dampening and it's going to have better traction off-road, which is nice because usually when you're off-road and you're riding, by changing how the dampening is, I mean, I used to have a KLR, and you can't really sit there and compare these, but it would bottom out a lot. And what they've done is they created this to where that bike is not going to bottom out nearly as much, if even at all, which is really, really nice. They created a whole new cooling system on it, so it's going to stay cooler, which is really nice. They basically put in a new high-flow radiator in it, and not only that, they routed a lot of it through the frame. That's really kind of neat. I've never really heard of that. And if you beta guys that are out there and you're like beta ninjas and you knew all that stuff about these new beta RRs, man, comment below and let everybody else know what you know if you've been and you've talked to these guys and you've got much more information. And who knows, some of you guys may have the in and get to test ride some of these, you know, beta models <laughs> to get out and try them out, which is really cool. But like I said, on screen, pictures of all of them, and I would sit there and say, okay, well, here's a, a 350 and here's a 500. Well, they, they look the same. <laughs> so I'm only going to post one picture on there. The other nice thing is, is for you short riders, guess what? They kind of really are listening because you can customize these bikes. Guess what? You can get it with a 2-inch seat lower from the factory. So for an enduro bike that's usually 37 inches in a seat height, you can drop that bad boy down to a 35. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. The other thing that they did is the swing arm in the back, they increased it a little bit. Why? Better traction off-road and better dampening as well. It's going to make that bike handle a whole lot better. It's a little bit longer. So that is really nice on the swing arm because even the KTM, it's a little bit long, but this new one, they're not releasing exactly what the length is, or at least I can't find it. If you know, down below, that's awesome. It's got a new upgraded dash with GPS integrated. I think it is trail tech. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a trail tech. I've heard mixed on those, but I think they're pretty good. And the other thing is, is it's built in, it's part of the build package, and it's kind of nice. So with that being said, you have a GPS right out of the gate. That's real, real nice. Kickstand, larger footrest <laughs> for when you're off-road so that it doesn't dig into the dirt too much. That's kind of a big deal. You know, when you're on dirt, you're not having to go and find a rock or have to find, you know, all these different things so that your bike doesn't kick over. That's going to be kind of nice. That's going to help out a ton, 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 ton. Very, very, very cool. 2.4, 2.5 gallons of fuel. Not a ton, but... And you can always strap fuel or get an IMS or, you know, or MSR bottles, you know, just a little bit extra. I mean, it's it's a high-performance bike, man. Come on. KTM, Huskies, all those guys, even Honda, they're not going to come with tons of fuel. So you're going to have to strap something on 
or just deal with it. But you look at these bikes. I'll tell you what, man, they are sick. The Beta RRS Street Legal Dual Sport Enduros. I mean, you look at them. They are just straight up sexy. They're not coming out until late November 2019, so check your beta dealers and see if they're there. I am not affiliated in any way. I don't get a dime for anything from beta on this. I'm just hitting it. Avid, dual sport, motorcycle guy. I just love talking about bikes. Not a review, so don't leave a comment saying, ah, it's not, it's not a very good review, because it's not a review. I'm just bringing information to people that like to know about bikes. These bikes are going to start at around ten three ninety nine, and then go all the way up to the five hundred at ten eight ninety nine, and that is not bad. That is right in line with your Huskies, your KTM's, and I tell you what, go dig these specs up. Go check it out on Beta's website. I'm not sure if they have the info up yet, but you can find this info online if you're willing to do a little bit of work. But anyway, hey, I'm Joe. Happy Friday. Like I said, East Texas ADV headed out to his ranch tomorrow. There's going to be video. There's going to be all sorts of stuff. He's got an enduro track that he has custom built on his own property. Can't wait to ride it. It's going to be super fun. Anyway, rant and ride Fridays, 9 o'clock, every Friday. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for being part of it. And don't forget, smash subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, go to our website, sign up. You get one extra week to be part of it, to be on our giveaway, because next Saturday, guess what? That's when we're doing it, and if you're not in, you can't win. So, like I said, thank you so much for being part of the 690 AB. At 690, we love you. You guys have a great day. 690 out.